Welcome back. Um, in this video, what we're going to talk about is uh, power supplies. Power supplies are, you can think about it as basically over-glorified batteries, a battery that you can change the voltage on. So here is one um, relatively nice uh, power supply. Uh, we, they, are, they come in all variety and shapes, but fundamentally they're going to have some control for controlling. They're going to have a display, of course. They're going to have something to control the voltage. They're going to have a bunch of knobs to control the limit, the current, so the current cannot go above a certain level. And um, um, they would have some way of connecting, uh, typically a plus side, a minus side. And some will also have the safety ground, as you see, it's green around the rims. That's the safety ground. Uh, again, you will not see a voltage from black to green or red to green. Well, the voltage differences you're going to see or the generation you will see is between the red and the black, okay, the plus and the minus. The chassis ground is there is mostly for safety, and um, that's its purpose. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on and talk a little bit about a couple of the knobs it has. But its job is to give you a voltage at the, whatever you decide to set it. So, uh, by the way, the display right now is showing voltage and there is a knob here. And let me see if I can twist this so you can get a better view of it. There is a knob right here which allows you to select between voltage and current. So as I flip it down, it says amp. Right now, this thing is not connected to anything, so you get no amperage coming out of it. But the, most of the time, we will have in this end voltage, and we want to know that. So how do we control the voltage? There's two knobs. One is called coarse. One is called fine, as you can see on the bottom. The coarse one allows you to make large changes. So, like that. So the, the, the now what is the core? Well, so let's say if I want to go to five, it's really hard with the course measurement to get exactly at five. You either overshoot it or you undershoot it if you use this one, okay? So what you do, you try to use this to get as close as you possibly can get to it, and then you will use the fine control. The next one, the fine control here, let me put it down. So we'll use a fine control to get it exactly where we wanted which is exactly at five so that's how you use it pretty straightforward now if you want to connect it to let's say a proto board so what we typically do when we are trying to connect to a proto board again we use our alligator remember it looked like an alligator so it's called the alligator clip we'll connect an alligator clip to one side and then the negative side unfortunately i don't have the right colors in front of me to use usually it's a good idea to use red and black to indicate plus and minus. Uh, so um, you can imagine the yellow is red and the green is black. For here. So what we'll do is uh, let me find a couple of small wires. And um, so then the other side of the, uh, um, by the way, it's always a good idea as you're setting this up to shut this off. So the, the connect uh, the alligator clip to one of the on the other side of it, and if you notice, I put the positive on one end of the proto board, and we usually put it on where the red line is to indicate that's where the power comes in. And I'll take the black side and connect that to the blue side of here. And notice how I put them on one side or the other. If you do, if this is not on a fixed board that can separate those things. If you put these two next to each other, you have a chance of the tip of these alligator clips connecting each other and shorting your power supply, which is the power supply doesn't like it. Actually blows its fuse and then we're in trouble. Okay, so now let's see what we need to do. So we got it connected to the proto board and I'll turn it on. It's still the ground and power are not connected to each other. So if I go back here and turn the control to amp to see what nothing is coming out. So I got a resistor here, and what I'm going to do is connect my resistor um, right here. So now I've got a resistor sitting now. Still nothing, still the resistor is not connected to anything. If you see the power comes into the red side, 
the ground the negative side goes to the blue side and the resistor is sitting here there is no connection between these guys and those guys so in order for me to make a connection I'll just grab a couple other wires I'm gonna put one side of this resistor to power and the other side of the resistor to I'm going to shut this up before I can make the connection to the negative side. So let's let's talk about what I've got here. What I have built in this uh, circuit that you're seeing here, move it a little bit farther out so I get the room to put my paper down. Like this tight spot. Okay. So what I have, the circuit I have just built, is um, there's a power supply. And if you remember, it's set to 5 volts. And I have a resistor sitting in here. This resistor I know to be 200 ohms, so let's put it in here. So I should be able to basically, if I look at the current, before it was connected, the current was telling me zero. Now that I'm connecting, I should be able to see this current to be plus minus 5 volt divided by 200 which is 5 volt divided by 200 ohms or another way we talk about this is it's basically 25 milliamp or 25 thousandths of an amp so now that we have this let's turn it on and see if it really does work that way so I'll turn it on and sure enough there it is 0.025 another way of saying it is 25 milliamp going through it and what's my voltage I flip this up and there's 5 volt now Late, in a different slide, we talk about multimeter can do that for you, but it's kind of convenient to have those function on your power supply. Again, I want to emphasize this is just one power supply, but all the controls I have talked about appear on all power supplies should pretty much be the same. On this one, you got to remember the green is chassis ground, so if you want your plus and minus to give you 5 volts, you got to go between the red and the black. Take care. And we'll see you in the next video.